Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. And I'm Christy Casciano. COVID cases are on the rise again, even here in central New York. Governor Cuomo today calling it the pandemic of the unvaccinated. Here to talk more about it is Upstate Global Health Director, Dr. Stephen Thomas. Dr. Thomas, good to see you again. Thanks for joining us. Good to see you both. So let's start out first and talk about um, the vaccine and kind of where we are right now with that. Um, Governor Cuomo said that obviously more people are, are, that are getting it are, are not vaccinated. Uh, positive cases, positivity rate ticking up here in central New York. Why are those new cases happening? Why is that positivity rate ticking up? What's the trend? Why is it going on? Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's a relatively simple narrative and explanation. If uh, if you're not vaccinated, you're susceptible to infection and you're going to get infected and potentially going to get very sick. Um, it's the same explanation for central New York as for New York State, as for the Northeast, as for the entire country. So it, it's a very simple equation. And the governor made it pretty clear today that, you know, the new positives are coming from the Delta variant. I guess we have we have to assume it's here, right? And what does that mean for all of us? Yeah, I would absolutely assume that it is here. And what it means is that this particular variant, uh, it's now the predominant strain infecting people in the U.S. It's probably going to become uh, possibly the only strain uh, if we allow it to continue to burn like it is. Uh, we know it's much more transmissible and we know that it uh, has higher levels of virus uh, in people when it does infect them. So what that means is those people then uh, uh, can be more efficient transmitters to other people. It also means that they can get uh, sicker and end up in the hospital or end up uh, uh, dying from the disease. The good news is that if you have been vaccinated and you've received a full course of vaccination, even if you get infected by the Delta variant, your risk of ending up having a severe disease, being hospitalized or dying uh, continues to remain extremely low. Um, we are seeing kind of numbers that we really haven't been seeing a lot lately because it seemed like we were doing so well. But again, along the governor's uh, uh, press conference today, he says the vast majority, and you probably know this, over 99%, he said, of the new cases are in unvaccinated people. So can vaccinated people then just go about a normal day, life? Uh, what level of vigilance should they be taking? I'm talking about the vaccinated people now. Right. Yeah, I mean, as we've been saying, uh, as we've talked over the last 18 months or so, uh, everything begins with what is the local situation. Mm -hmm. So I think in central New York, if you are vaccinated, uh, certainly if you're outside, if you're inside with uh, um, other vaccinated people, uh, then I think you can all feel pretty, uh, pretty comfortable. If you go to some of the states uh, right now that are experiencing some of the worst outbreaks, so uh, Louisiana, Georgia, uh, uh, Arkansas, parts of Texas, uh, Missouri, et cetera. That's a different scenario, right? Those, those places are seeing a 50% uh, increase in the number of cases and the hospitals are filling up. In those locations, even if I'm vaccinated, I'm probably going to have, I'm probably gonna be a little bit more vigilant. I'm gonna avoid crowds. I'm gonna be wearing a mask around um, just because the, you know, the, the risk, just the statistical, uh, increased risk uh, when you're around uh, many more infected people is a little bit higher. I, pr I probably would not want to uh, roll those dice. All right, I got to ask you about booster shots. What does your latest research show about the need for a booster shot right now? Do we need it? Are we still good for a while? And for how long? Some people are panicked saying, you know, I want a booster now. So what's the status? <sighs> Yeah, I, I, again, you know, this is a, you got to unpack the question just a little bit because, um, you know, what is the point of a booster dose, right? So what people have been talking about in the news to include Pfizer and others is that the booster dose is designed to really increase people's immune responses. Uh, but to what end? Well, the end is, again, to protect people from severe disease, hospitalization and death. And, and right now there is a very little indication that people who have been fully immunized, that their risk of those endpoints has increased substantially. So as it stands right now, I would be focusing on getting unvaccinated people vaccinated because then the idea of a booster dose actually becomes less relevant as more people get vaccinated. Um, Makes sense. We have, been, we have been doing this a long time. You telling people for months now, get vaccinated. Clearly, there is a group of people out there that for one reason or another are not vaccinated. What can you tell them right now to convince them 
to go get those shots. Whatever you get, Pfizer, Moderna, J&J, &J, do it. Yeah, I, I mean, if, uh, if people were concerned about the science and concerned about the trials and, you know, it's only 70, you know, 75,000 people, um, now you can look at the entire country. You can look at the fact that 99% of the people who died from COVID over the last uh, two months at least, probably it'll be uh, in July as well, are unvaccinated people. You can look at the fact of um, that it is now younger people, right, those 50 and under who are ending up in the hospital, who are ending up in the ICU. So I, I don't know what I can say uh, to get someone to value their life <laughs> such that they're willing to get, you know, a vaccine that's been, uh, you know, 400, probably half a billion doses globally uh, have been given if you, if you add up all the, you know, doses of all the vaccines that are currently available. Uh, but if that doesn't do it, I guess the other thing I would say is at some point, uh, I imagine these vaccines are going to get a full FDA license. My guess is it's probably going to happen within this calendar year, which then is going to open the door for a lot of organizations to mandate vaccination. We're seeing it already, right? The Veterans Affairs, mm -hmm. uh, we're seeing schools, we're seeing uh, private businesses. Um, so, you know, if, if you're not concerned about getting sick and having a bad outcome, uh, your your quality of life and your ability to access uh, uh, um, you know certain activities that you want to access may also depend on vaccination. So, as always, be informed. Go to objective sources of information. Go to multiple sources, um, and uh, you know make an informed decision. All right, and you're one of our reliable sources mm -hmm. who we truly appreciate. <laughs> Thank you so much throughout this entire pandemic. You've um, you've just been a great voice for us. Thank you, doctor.